It has been less than two days since NATO helicopters attacked military checkpoints inside Pakistan. The death toll is high. 24 Pakistani soldiers were killed, but the diplomatic fallout is still playing out. CNN's Reza Sayah is in Pakistan's capital, Islamabad, with the latest, which includes funerals for the soldiers who died. Reza. Yeah, Natalie, a lot happening a uh, day after this deadly uh, NATO airstrike, uh, NATO airstrike that has uh, sparked an angry reaction here throughout Pakistan. Earlier today, funeral services taking place in northwestern Pakistan for some of these Pakistani soldiers killed early Saturday morning. The funeral taking place in Momand Agency. This is the district where, according to Pakistani military and government officials, this attack happened early Saturday morning. Pakistani government officials were convinced that this NATO airstrike hit two military check posts right inside the Afghan-Pakistani border on Pakistani soil, killing these 24 soldiers. There have been several protests throughout the past 24 hours. They haven't been massive. They haven't been widespread. We saw some in Moment Agency, uh, some in Lahore yesterday. Uh, there are more scheduled today and throughout the next several days. So again, it's an indication of the angry reaction we're seeing, not just from Pakistani government officials who've issued blistering condemnations of this incident, uh, but in the public. Uh, where there's already uh, widespread anti-American sentiments mm -hmm. that have been fueled by this incident, Natalie. Yes, and it's certainly not expected that this anger will abate anytime soon, but we do know the NATO Secretary General has issued a statement now. What was in that statement, Reza? Yeah, a, a lot of officials uh, issuing statements from uh, all sides. One of those statements came from uh, the NATO Secretary General Anders Rasmussen. Uh, he said, uh, part of the statement, this was a tragic, unintended incident. I fully support uh, the ISAF investigation, which is currently underway. We will determine what happened and draw the light, uh, the right lessons. Uh, similar statements coming from U.S. officials, other NATO officials. They've been contrite. They've been remorseful. But what they haven't done as of yet is uh, corroborate, verify Pakistan's account of what has happened. They acknowledge that there was a NATO operation on Afghan soil. Uh, they issued a carefully worded statement that it is likely, it is likely that airstrikes from that NATO operation killed some Pakistani soldiers, but they have stopped short of saying those Pakistani soldiers were killed on Pakistani soil. At the same time, they've been remorseful. They're clearly taking this very seriously. They say they're investigating, but they have yet to reach a conclusion. Adam would imagine that investigation is quite extensive. Thank you so much, Reza Sayah Force there in Islamabad with the latest.